Hey everybody, this has been with Magic Plan. We had the pleasure of speaking with Josh Winton from Discreet Restoration, and he allowed us to record him while he went on site, built a floor plan out in Magic Plan, attached photos to his floor plan, and created an estimate export. We hope you enjoyed this as much as we did, and once again, thank you, Josh. Hey guys, uh, my name is Josh Winton. I'm the proud owner and operator of uh, Discreet Restoration. Uh, we are a local mold remediation and water damage recovery company down here in the South Florida area. And today we're taking you behind the scenes on a property we are working on that recently suffered from a water event uh, from a second floor condominium. So walking over here, uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on. We've got some water migration that's come from the above unit. As I said, this is a condominium, so we are surrounded currently on one, two, three sides. We've got different condo units as well as different condo unit owners on all sides. Uh, we responded to this a couple of days ago. Uh, the complaint was that the laminate flooring here was buckling. So one of the first things we do as a remediation professional is we walk through and we essentially diagnose. We're looking for anything that is visible. Our eyes are going to be our number one tool. We want to see what looks out of place. All right, guys, now the fun part. This is the, uh, this is the meat and the potatoes for guys like me that are super into their tech. Um, we are about to begin the sketching and estimating process. So I've got my old trusty uh, iPad here. Uh, we're using a software platform by the name of Magic Plan. Uh, Magic Plan is going to allow us to do everything from creating our sketch to the estimating tool, adding doors and windows where they need to be respectively, and also including the quantities of materials that we removed. Um, for measurement purposes as well, we're going to be using a Leica Disto D2 meter. Uh, this is my laser measurement device of choice. There's still plenty out there, but this is what we use. Uh, so let's kind of take you behind the scenes on how we do our sketching process. We're always going to want to start by opening up a new project. So the first step that we're going to do, we're going to hit that new project button. Uh, we always want to set the address. This is where we get our geolocation. It's going to hone in exactly where we are. That is perfect. That's what we want. We're going to name the project. So I hit the correct buttons here. So we've got our client's name and done. So now we can get into it. So now we're going to start by selecting the room that we're in. Uh, in this case, we're standing in the kitchen slash dining room, but let's go with kitchen. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go through and Using our application, we're going to start recognizing corners within this area. So very methodically, just going from corner to corner. Software does the rest. Not much moving. Automatically recognizing corners, which is a beautiful thing. And now we're essentially going to walk through. And again, like I said, the beautiful thing is it's not a tremendous amount of walking. Obviously, you know, you got to get to a certain point, pass all of the equipment and everything, but I've walked there. I'm going to take two steps. Let's recognize that other corner there. Now, here's the beautiful thing. We've got this lovely dotted green line, so we can just hit the done button. We're going to set our room height. And one of my favorite features is we can actually walk over now, look at a door, software automatically detects it. Look at the other door here, which goes to the exterior of the home, automatically detects that. And I'm going to look at these lovely windows, which faces the backyard. Perfect. So now we're just going to hit the done button and voila, we've got our very first room in this home. All right. So now we're in the second room. This is going to be the guest bedroom inside of the home. So this is the front facing bedroom. So now same process as before. We are going to add a new room. We are going to add a square room. And in this case, we're going to refer to this as the bedroom. And I will show you exactly what I do in these situations where you have a relatively small room, four square walls on all sides. So I will simply use the add square room tool. I will hit one corner. I will then take my meter 
and measure across to the other side, and it will automatically adjust the measurements respectively. And I'll go to the other side now. Got those measurements as well. And then here's where I'll actually come in and I'm going to manually add uh, the doors and windows that are inside of this room. So we've got this double sliding door area. So I would simply tap the wall that I want the shape on, or this uh, pocket door. We're going to select the double pocket door. What I'm now going to do is tap the measurement. I'm going to actually measure the opening of the door. They corrected it to four foot nine. I'm going to tap on one side of the wall, to the left of the door. I'm going to measure that distance. And then it's going to respectively move the door accordingly. We have our window over here. We want to simply click the window button. It is a hung window. We're going to select that. We're going to shoot our width. Same thing, we're going to shoot to one side of the window to get it to line up exactly where it needs to be. And then now we have our existing shape. We want to then attach this to the existing room that we have. So we want to take it around onto this side. We need to spin this around. And simply put, we're going to connect it to the existing area. And voila, we have our second room done and we'll just add the bathroom and the closet in just a few moments. All right, so now talking about the documentation purposes a little bit further, I'm going to introduce the world to the Ricoh Theta series of cameras. This is a 360 degree camera, excuse me, 360 degree camera. This is not the only one of its kind. There are so many makes and models. Uh, this is one that we utilize just because of its high quality resolution and it's just small form factor. Uh, so what you can do in Magic Plan, and what we always do for purposes of our claims, is we can actually go in, we can add a 360 panoramic photo. What I tend to do, because I'm a little crazy OCD, is I will try to position the 360 camera where it is, as far as geographically in the room. We'll hit the details button, we'll stand back here, we'll take a picture, and within a couple of moments, we'll see this photo actually come to light. And here we go. So now we can see there is myself on camera and our friend Martin doing some of the filming for us. And this is especially important because as you can see with all of the cabinetry that we have here in the room, uh, this is a great image to actually have captured to demonstrate to the insurance company, meaning if the adjuster doesn't come out for two months from now, none of this is going to be here. However, we are going to have 360 documentation that the adjuster can essentially look and feel like they're actually here and be more part of the insurance plan. All right, so now we're gonna kind of bring it all full circle here. Um, we're gonna start working on the estimate now. We've already gone through, we've gathered all of the data, all of the information that we need. We have a beautiful sketch here, and now we actually wanna to put together the price point that allows us to afford to do this again and again. So we're gonna to wanna to open up the estimating tool here. Uh, we're standing in the kitchen, so let's start here. We're gonna hit that little plus sign under kitchen. From here, we are going to go into our price list. Uh, as you can see in the backdrop here, this is laminate floor. I'm gonna check that box, laminate floor removal. We want to open that up. We've got our uh, polyethylene vapor barrier. Now, as you can see, we don't have the entire floor removed. So, simply put, we are going to click and drag proportionally as far as how much of the flooring has been removed. Magic Plan makes it extremely easy to grab corners, to grab ends, and actually pull it to where it's reflecting the actual amount of material that has been removed. So same thing, we're gonna go pull back the laminate floor, which as we see is just about that doorway. We're gonna hit the done button. And now we've got $715 worth of laminate floor removal. Now, we also have these beautiful pieces of machinery that we wanna account for. Same thing, we're gonna to wanna to hit that plus button, come back into the tools feature here. We're going to want to search air mover. Hit that search button. Scroll down, we've got our axial air mover. We've also got our regular air movers. We're gonna add both of those guys. 
Now we want to account for the number of days we've had them on site. We're going to want to change the number of items. We've had these air movers here for four days now. Very simply, change our quantity to four. If we want to make any notes down here, this is the place to do it. And then we hit that back button. And then the beautiful thing is you can have it broken down either to where you have four days worth of air movers displayed or Magic Plan allows you to actually go in group with similar items so we can very easily tap this, start bringing everything back up there and have only one line item if that's what you prefer. Here's another option to do that without having to have everything displayed. You can change your quantity to four, hit the enter button. You can also make sure that you have a group of similar items selected by default and then you don't have to worry about it duplicating. So they've made it quite versatile to accommodate every different site, uh, excuse me, every different type of company, your estimating style, no two people estimate the same. So it's kind of beautiful. And uh, they also give you a running total here on the top of the estimating tool. You can see that so far we're $1,027 in and we'll just continue to add uh, the line items that correlate to what we've done. All right, so now let's say we're done with our estimating process. Now we want to come in and we want to prepare this to be sent over to the client. So we're going to want to go in, we're going to want to click our files and sharing button in the top right corner. Uh, our focus is going to be on the estimate files. I proactively already uh, clicked that button. So now we're going to tap the estimate. We're going to tap markup. Markup is just going to allow you to very quickly and easily view. As you can see, we've got all of our company information, uh, the client information, uh, we've got everything broken down into the different categories. For us, we've got mitigation, remediation. We also have equipment, PPE for personal protective equipment. And we would have a little blurt about the project summary, what it actually relates to. And then we'd continue scrolling down. Uh, again, what we consider the meat and the potatoes in decision making is going to be the cost breakdown. It's going to show you quantities, pricing per, and continuing to scroll down, you'll see a beautiful picture of our sketch so that way there's quick reference points for both the insurance carrier, the insurer, the general contractor, we can see by square footages, lineal footages, so on and so forth. And then as you scroll down into the estimating tool, the thing that I really like for our clients is right underneath the kitchen, we've got a picture of the kitchen with a silhouette of the surrounding areas right there in the backdrop. So it's very quick, very precise. Um, bringing the client to exactly knowing where they are at all points in times and then starting to see the corresponding prices that attract to that. And as you scroll down, in this case, you'll see where we remove the polyethylene vapor barrier. Magic Plan does an excellent job at displaying a color overlay as far as the affected material that's been removed. So again, visuals, quick, everybody can see what's going on, everybody's on the same page, and this has been an extremely powerful estimating tool for us.